My dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So I was at a conference last year and a brother came up to me after the talk, you know, just poured my heart out, poured my soul out, and he comes up to me and says, Bro, that talk was retarded. <laughs> and at that point I couldn't understand what is this brother trying to say? Is he trying to praise me? Is he trying to criticize me? You know, what is he trying to do? And it was such an emotional state, I just ignored the brother and I walked on. Now eventually, you know, I met the brother again and asked him, you know, what did you mean by your talk was retarded? Like to me, retarded meant something really bad. Uh, but he's like, yeah, it was, a, uh, it was a, a form of praise for you. And I recalled something at that time which I said to myself, which was something I had read in a beautiful book by Imam al-Bukhari called Al-Adab al-Mufrad. You gotta pick this book up, check it out. And there's a chapter in this book called What a Person Should Say When He Is Praised. Mada yaqulu rajulu idha zukiya. And there's a beautiful dua that the companions radiallahu anhum, when they were praised, they would say, Allahumma ja'ilni khayran mimma yadhunnoon. وَاغْفِرْ لِي مَا لَا يَعْلَمُونَ وَلَا تُؤَاخِذْنِي بِمَا يَقُولُونَ اللهم اجعلني خيرا مما يظنون واغفر لي ما لا يعلمون ولا تؤاخذني بما يقولون. That oh Allah, do not hold me accountable for what they say about me. Make me better than they think of me and forgive me for that which they do not know of me. Now when you think about Islam, subhanAllah, and what a complete religion it is, this is one of the manifestations of that perfection and that completion. That Islam even teaches you what to say when an individual praises you. That you want to direct all praise towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you say, Oh Allah, do not hold me accountable for what they say about me. And make me better than what they think of me and forgive me for what they do not know about me. And the ending is very, very important. That especially when it comes to sin, subhanAllah, people do not see our sins regularly. The predecessors used to say that if we could carry our sins and our sins gave a fragrance off, no one would ever sit around us. And thus is the miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that our sins do not give off a stench and we don't carry our sins in front of us. But rather Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hides our sins and we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hides our sins in this world and the hereafter. So next time you're praised, you know what to do. But before we conclude, here's an action item. Press the like button right now. Show me your love, bidnallahi ta'ala. Learn the dua. Take care, all the best. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.